Hi, this is Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. This video is about the native state of the body. And the native state is being fat fluid. So if you were to look at, if you were to step away from your body like 25 feet away and look down at your body and say, what's the most important thing I can do to make my body healthy? And the answer is to get the amount of fat in your blood up higher than the um, sugar burning nutrients like carbs, sugar, protein, those need to be lower than the fat in the blood. What that does then is it makes your cells and your mitochondria in your cells burn fat. And uh, that's the ideal state. That's the native state of the body. So when a baby's born, they're supposed to be in ketosis, which is the fat burning mode. And then human breast milk is all fat. So for the next, let's say two years, they're being breastfed. Let's just say two years. They're in ketosis for two years, the baby. And then let's say they're running through the house and they sprint down the hallway and they're out of breath. During that sprint, they lost their oxygen. The muscles used up all their oxygen. And those cells reverted from fat burning to sugar burning uh, because of the exercise. And so the native state is fat burning unless you're running, sprinting, maybe you're running away from a scary situation. You're using sugar to get out of there fast. Okay, now... Once the kid starts eating crackers and rice and, you know, the carbohydrates that um, we, are, we think we're supposed to eat, then they go into sugar burning mode all the time. And the only time they go into fat burning mode would be like, like in maybe, let's say, an endurance sport or something. Um, or, they're, you know, they're just exercising for a long time. They're running a lot. So, but the, the majority of the time, they're in sugar bur burning mode. Once they get out of high school, they're no longer in any sports at all and they have a desk job, or the, you know, they're in college, they're sitting a lot, and now they're 55 years old, they haven't really exercised, they've been burning sugar that whole time. Burning sugar leads to this. It's the opposite of fat fluid. The, the opposite is sugar, protein, calcium dense, with high insulin, and high insulin resistance, that's very dangerous, and lactic acidosis, which is the mechanism of chronic disease, and then etc., etc., high LDL, uh, lab tests go abnormal, um, symptoms appear, chronic diseases appear, they get a diagnosis, they get medications. The op That's all this part, and um, it's not ideal. The ideal is feeding your body plenty of fats. Now, you could, you could give the argument that the most important thing is minerals, or the most important thing is water. Um, or the most important thing is the phytonutrients that you find in plants. And um, you, you could say that everybody's deficient in vitamin D, which is almost true. And you could say four out of five women are deficient in iron. Deficient in iron. Yeah, that's true too. So there's a lot of things that need to be addressed with the body. And there's a lot of knowledge on what we're deficient in. Um, but the biggest deficiency in this country, in the Western world... Um, is fat. That's the biggest deficiency. And the only people who have enough fat in their body are the ones that are actively pursuing ketosis. And you know who they are because they're all promoting themselves on Facebook and YouTube. <laughs> so um, everybody else is not pursuing ketosis. And how would you do that? What's the first step? Uh, depends on your weight and how many calories you need, but I'm just going to say that if you're over 150 pounds, the first step would be consuming six tablespoons of um, healthy oils per day. That would be two tablespoons per meal, three meals a day. That's, that's basic step one. I have a lot more detail in my other videos. If you go back um, to January of 2017, I go into great deal on all of that. Okay, now I'm going to talk about what I put when I put calcium dense. So the body being the muscles, the, the joints being calcium dense. What that means is when there's a pathology going on, um, the, the body's got two options. <clears throat> and it starts with the first option. The first option is to return the cells. Let's say there's a pathology in the liver. It tries to turn those liver cells back into being healthy once again. And if that doesn't work then um, it puts calcium in there and tries to wall off that pathological state and seclude it from the rest of the body. 
and try to keep it immobile. Okay, now you can pick you can pick any organ if you have damage to lung tissue or bone. Um, calcium gets deposited there. Now, but look at the whole body. When the diet is bad for a long time, every single cell starts to its own pathological state. And as long as the person's eating too much sugar and protein relative to fat, then the body's having a hard time repairing every single cell. And so what does it do? It calcifies those cells, all of them, from head to toe. So a person who is much older and very stiff and, and walking slowly and hurts everywhere and has calcium deposited in their arteries and is you know on the verge of a heart attack, it's because the whole body is pathological from the bad diet, from the excessive sugar and protein intake relative to fat. Think of a woman who's 80 with osteoporosis and yet still has calcium embedded in her arteries. She's been eating too much of this and not enough of this. Now, if she were to convert her diet over into ketosis, that'll make the fat in her body will make the calcium and other minerals that are embedded in the soft tissue become ionizable. And then the body can take those minerals out, the excessive minerals out, and then put it back in the bone where it's supposed to be. And we're taught, and I've done this before with people with bone spurs, you know, like on the heel or something. I get, you know, I would give them lots of fish oil or something. But now I know it's not just about pills of fish oil. It's about the whole body getting into ketosis. So you can use quantities like six tablespoons a day of olive oil, avocado oil, um, coconut oil, MCT oil. So, the, you know, the value of fish oil, yeah, there's DHA in fish oil, there's EPA. These are nutrients that work really hard in the body. But the value of fish oil is that it's oil. <laughs> it's just a healthy oil, and it's lubricating everything and feeding your nerves and your eyes and your brain and your skin and your hormones and all your cells, every single one of your cells. And uh, so this is um, the big picture when it comes to your body. Feed it lots of fat. And of course, you need all the other nutrients. You need minerals, you need vitamins, you need plants, you need uh, um, water. And, um, but without the fat, those nutrients don't move around like they should. And without the fat, your body stiffens up. And then you get the bad um, blood test results, you get the disease, you get the arthritis, the pain, then, then your arteries break and you have a heart attack or a stroke. Um, you're, you're, you get lesions in your body from lack of flow. The lesions might include a diabetic ulcer. It might include cancer. You get pathological tissues like cysts and ovaries and all that. That all goes away in ketosis. Not all of it, but it's the best, most fundamental first step to take, no matter what your pathology is, is get into ketosis, get the fat going up higher in your blood that mobilizes nutrients correctly, and um, then your body starts to break down pathology. That's, this is the big picture. It took me 20 years to get here. And yeah, I've had people tell me before, a high-fat diet is important. Native, uh, Native tribes ate a lot of fat, etc., etc. But now I have this clear picture and I wanted to share this with you. So that if somebody says, you, if somebody says a doctor says, oh, you have this disease, whatever the disease is, what's the solution? It's this. This is the solution. I don't care what the disease is. First step, get into ketosis. Now, if you're well already, you're healthy, you're maybe, you've been working on your health, you're an athlete, whatever, this is still the native state. Get into ketosis. It's for wellness, and it reverses disease at the same time. So there's my view. I hope this helps, and I'm really happy to share this with you. Um, I, I enjoy your comments in the comment section. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that and, sh and spread this video, spread all my videos around to people that you care for.